This is a demonstration of SharpCat 2.7 video stack. Uh, so we'll start out uh, fresh. You just booted up SharpCat. Uh, the first thing you want to do is do a drop cam. Drop down on cameras and pick your camera. I'm using the easy cap frame grabber, which is an SMI grabber device. And then after you select the camera, you go over to options and select video capture filter. And in this case, I'm selecting uh, PAL B and you click OK. And then you should get a picture like this. All right, the first thing you want to do when you want to stack is get the level right, the, the background level. Of course, it's not going to stack correctly. It's too bright, won't register these stars and won't stack. If it's too light, uh, if it's too dark, I should say, then it uh, won't process the noise out correctly. So the way you do that, uh, our target here is M51. Here are the two bright cores. I'm using a two and a half second exposure. Uh, I'm in a red zone, so that's as much as I can run. Uh, and uh, there's the two M51 two bright cores. So we'll set up this background noise so we can stack. You click on this green symbol, which pulls up the histogram, and you want it to where this uh, curve, which represents the intensity, is in the right place. If it's too bright, it's going to be way up there. If it's too dark, you're going to cut off part of this, this curve. You don't want to cut it off. Let's flip it. You want to pull it up just where this curve is above being flipped. And that'll be uh, about 30 to 48. So now it's the right spot of intensity for stacking. Uh, so we'll click on start the stacking. Uh, here's a uh, click on live stack. Go to alignment, click reduce noise on. Right away, you'll see the frame start stacking. The frame count will increment over here. And, uh, Look here, I'll pull it up. And you can see right away uh, we're starting to get the spiral arms in M51. So uh, we'll let that run a little while. It's gone, when it gets up to 100, that'll be a minute. It's about a third of a minute right now, 33 frames. Uh, while that's going on, we'll be looking at some other things. Uh, Here's how many stars are being registered and aligning the frames. It's up to 10 stars is what we're registering. Uh, come over to status, see a uh, number of things. The frame count is just uh, the same over here. Cold exposure doesn't work right now in this version, so you can ignore that. Uh, so uh, after you've got a few frames, We've got enough to play with. Go over the histogram, and here we can pull out the detail. You can see the spiral arm done that distinct. So there's uh, four adjustments we can play with here. We've got uh, white level, black level, gradient, and then a slider to drag the gradient. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add some gradient, and uh, there we go. And right away you'll see detail pop in a lot more. I don't want to put that much now pull it back. It's a brightness will make it brighter go in that direction. And then typically pull this black one right about where this lump starts. And then I can play with the gradient. I got too much it's too grainy. And uh darken it up a little Okay, we're at 100, we're a little over a minute. That's one minute of stacking. Sometimes I'll pull this white one back a little bit, but not too much. Depends on the specs while I do the white color. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. Now you want to save this. Uh, you want to come over here. First, you want to put it in a folder. You can do a drop down and uh, or just type something in here. And if that'll be in a folder called M51. You want to save the PNG, so you don't click on save, click on the drop down, click on save as view, that'll save the PNG. And uh, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got a, a stacked picture, and uh, that's how you use a shortcut.